So can women take prenatal pills if they're not even pregnant and their hair can grow like that? Yeah, a lot of women do. Really? Mm, a lot of them take it when well, they're not okay. pregnant. How about men? Can men take some prenatal pills and get hair like that? I'm taking my hair back. They're going to turn you into a more feminine. <laughs> well, I already got the titties and hips, so I'm good with that. <laughs> oh, you, you good then. You grade A beautiful then, Dion. I'm just, I'm just trying to get my hair back. <laughs> I don't men embrace their hips. There's nothing wrong with a little hippage. You know, it's a lot yes, of things. It is, Meg. Don't spread this rumor. Why? Hey. I like I like to I like to feel my man, okay? This I don't want to hold on to no <laughs> hips. But that's a like, love hold on to no surfboard. Even even if we embrace it, the clothing yeah. community does not. So yeah. Levi's does not embrace the fact that men have no. hips. It's just <laughs> They don't embrace the fact that women have hips, okay? Let's be honest. I don't want my man to have curves, okay? <laughs> your hips go outside your, your shoulders. That's a real problem. I want us to both <laughs> have curves. Man can't have a sexier silhouette than his girl. <laughs> <laughs> now, you hear me? Does he have a quick model shape? Look, look, Pat, Fair didn't even try to do the silhouette challenge as I did mine. She was like, there's no way. I know where I can compete with that. Ain't no darkness left. That's funny. <laughs> Even though they are not ready for the day, <laughs> it cannot always be. It here. cannot always be dark. <laughs> wow. It cannot always be brunch. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, 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 I refuse to get hips. I'll get surgery. Why would you say that? I would get surgery. I'll sand them off. I'll be mad as hell my man got a Coca-Cola bottle shape. Get out of here, man. Go like this. I'm trying to get a sponsorship with a, with a trench coach company. Listen, Pat, Pat would be a bad one if he had hips. You understand me? <laughs> no, Nigga, I Pat would Pat. be a baddie with hips, dog. <laughs> I ain't never been you to a hit your hips? I would just leave every conversation like this. Fine. <laughs> I love like, it when you damn. walk away. I let to see you walk away, Pat. I let to see. I hate that nigga, but damn. <laughs> that in here. Women be getting that's BBLs a... and they get upset that you look at it. They be like, "Excuse me, like, um, I don't. I think you gave us free advertisement." No, Dion, you no, misogynist. Dion. They could be getting it to sit softer or to sit more comfier. No. Or it's for them. For it's for them. Like That's what we photos. have to understand. That's what we have to understand as men. Because we think sometimes that what Dion said, that which I think is 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 outdated thinking that they get this BBL oh. and and you want you you advertise it's gotta be out there. Man, women get sexy for themselves. That might be something that she's always wanted. My mm. wife will wear lingerie with no plans on fucking me that day. Oh it's just because she likes the way the lingerie makes her feel. So sometimes, sometimes you're not wrong, Dion. Sometimes they do it, you know, for, you know, what some ambitions on OnlyFans or whatever. But sometimes it's just like, I always, I always want to. Farron talked about it. She, Farron got a, she got a breast surgery. She just had a, a lift. And it wasn't for nobody. It wasn't for me. I ain't never say nothing wrong with them titties. She, I love the titties, <laughs> I, you know. But she always wanted it for her. She after she had the baby, she always felt like they just weren't doing what they was supposed. They wasn't tittying like yep. they were supposed to be tittying. So she got the lift for her. That's like saying every time men wear gray sweatpants, they wearing it for me. Oh, but we are. They are, we, girl. We are. They are. We, we are. Yeah, yeah. That's why we are not like you guys. That's don't... why they don't understand the mentality of like, wait, y'all aren't doing this for us because my gray sweatpants are for y'all. Mm -hmm. okay. I, yeah, I, have, I have Farron come with me to test the material. Like, is this soft enough for you? Because I want ladies to be impressed when they see these gray So That's the only reason I, I don't give a shit about comfort. Yeah, because there's some set, there's some heavy cotton sweats out there that you can't see no bulge. Y'all like, yeah. come on, man. That's right. nice. quality. I like. I like those. Mine's a damn near see-through. You can see the veins. You see my ah! freckles. Everything on mine. You did that on purpose, okay? You, you did got that on right. purpose. You got damn right. Yeah. You got damn right. I don't want to see little freckly stuff. Ugh. You would be I used surprised. To all my ex's uh, sweats at Forever 21. And... <laughs>
Go ahead and let them disintegrate <laughs> on your on your dick. They're like, why aren't yep. there pockets in these? <laughs> it's like, I don't know, just put them on. Listen, my sweatpants <laughs> are 50, my sweatpants are 50 50 percent satin, 50 percent toilet tissue. Them motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how do you explain? You how do you explain to women that you have freckles on your penis? Like, is it like what is that? Uh, that's that's, that's this, um, is, this is what women always say. You got freckles all over. I be like, yes. Oh boy, and just leave it there. And you keep your head shaking. Like, yes, they be like, oh, all yes, hilarious, all over hilarious. on your butt cheeks too. At Meg, I, I can say it again, but I think you uh, got it the first time. Not making him clarify. Look at Lulu's face. Your thighs? You got them on your uh, armpits or your thighs? Wanna, I'm trying to picture what it looked like, but I'm just like, oh, I just don't understand. I ain't put my mouth on that. Ugh. It's like a sesame seed bun, just basically. It's a freckled not, dick looked like something in the Dr. Seuss book. First of all, fuck you, Pat. They got purple spots, green spots, <laughs> yellow spots, blue spots. I don't know why, but I imagine Pat. You, you don't you don't comb your beard hair, so I know your I know the carpet is probably unkempt too. It is. Ooh, you got a snappy no, nappy. Yo, past past you ah! like the inside of an '89 van, that that cargo van with the Hang the on, church van with all the. You gonna walk away? <laughs> Hey, brush that, yo. Comb it out. It's not that. It, it, it should be, be way worse than it is, but it's not that bad. Do you it's brush like a, it? Um, brush it. Pick it out. Why do y'all just man, leave y'all balling? I don't understand. Just man, brush no, no, it. No, no, not y'all. Not y'all. I've got everything but a boy zillion. That's the next step for me. What's I've it? done. I've done sugaring. I've I've manscaped with the clippers. Sugaring. I've done don't you got a landing strip? What you got left? What is sugaring? He looks like a landing strip dude. Sugaring is just like wax, and they just use sugar. It's, it's supposed to be better for you. Huh? Disgusting. It hurts. You never been waxed, Pat? You ever been waxed down there? Uh-uh. That's oh, not I know your carpet nappy because you don't oh, look like you take no kind of manscaping. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> hey, I women, look, women and when tell it gets, when it gets too crazy, I, re- I do a hard reset, and it's weird for like two weeks. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Wait, like you're like you're like balls? Balls. Balls. He put it in the ponytail. Naked. He said mole a rag. hard reset. Get it? Hard. Yes. Never mind. Hey, Naked hey. mole rat status. It, it, it's terrible. It looks But that's terrible. the way to be, man. What are you yeah. talking about? No, that but keep... then you reset and then you go, go and get, wait till it gets too much and then boom. Nah, right? maintenance it. I ain't no wait till it get too much. I, I'm, you got to keep it. Listen, all I... that hair, especially for somebody like I'm you, not Pat, hairy. All, Pat, all the hair for someone like you who's single, who may engage in certain activities with multiple people, that hair can hold bacteria. That bacteria. I wash it all the time. Apart. It's not crazy. It's not. Bro, I'm it's not, not hairy. You can't wash. Listen, it ain't gonna come all don't off in one like, wash. Don't y'all be hot in the summer with hair on your balls? Like when you try to it go hoop. It ain't. It's not like a beard amount of summer, hair. Pat. Right. And then also, Meg, you said go hoop. Look who you talking to. You know, I mean, me, yeah, when you're, when you're playing cheap. Zelda for 12 hours straight, isn't that like, uncomfortable to have like all this ball hair? Just how ugh. much hair do you think it is? It's not that not much. I mean, you know, when you shave, it grow back thicker. That's all no, I have. Does it poof any, out like hair. an afro or is it like a Caesar? It's like Matt. It's like, it's like, it's a, like Caesar. A, a beaver tail. Are you like, 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 a, like a number three on the, on the, on the guard? <laughs> it's not even more than my what's on my face. Oh, boy, that's a lot. I don't. I don't grow. I don't grow hair. A lot of hair. I have barely any hair on my chest. We know the girl is like, "Wow, uh, that's a surprise." Um, let me go to the bathroom and get uh, prepared for this activity. What I'm about to? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what? Dion, Dion glitched. <laughs> I I, in my head, I was like, I, I didn't want to get too explicit. <laughs> So he, was like, he was he was playing out your scenario of you not having a lot of chest, a lot of hair everywhere, Pat, and that's what the chick would be the like. Girl oh. about to go down there. He was like, "Whoa, this is a this is a lot." Let me. Well, Pat, when you hit puberty, it's gonna hit you hard, okay? <laughs> no, you ain't hit it yet, boo. You almost there. <laughs> I'd rather not. I'd rather be not hairy than hairy every day of the week. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I, I mean, it's you know, you just you find a schedule. Saying, "Well, 
most people find a schedule with shaving, like cleaning it up in between visits to the barber. You do just do the same thing with that. You clean it up, man. You know, we got the yeah, mask. Yeah, does it, it, the it doesn't hurt when, when you get your balls waxed. I, I didn't actually do my balls. I just did the, the pubic region. I didn't do my balls because I was terrified of that. So when I, I, don't when, know, I was like that, you a brave man. Nah, when I do my ball, I do that myself. I squeeze them and get them smooth, yeah. like and then I and then I have to get them with the clippers. Because if you try to do it when it's got the wrinkles on it, you gonna nick yourself. Yeah, I've been you there. Have, you gotta have that smooth surface, so yep. you gotta like like squeeze it, like yep. you're trying to get all the air out of a deflating huh. balloon, and then this, go over. This is facts. It sounds like a um, what's a stress ball? Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You have it smooth like a stress ball. Yeah. This yep, yep. sounds complicated. No, this is real. I, I was in my period. Wait, look at Pat. Look at Pat. Pat was like, like, I don't do any of that. I just, I throw the clippers down there. If they hit something, great. If they don't. Nah, I just said I, I shave. I do hard resets all the time, but I don't be <laughs> nicking my balls and squeezing. Wait, and y'all use the same clippers? Huh? I got the same clippers for your face and your balls. No, no. no. use manscaped. manscaped clippers. They're they're literally clippers just for your uh, balls. And they're very sensitive. Yeah. But those Man. just came out. What were y'all doing before? Before Fucking that, up. first Fucking of all, looking, before that, I <laughs> definitely like, used oh, the same ones. Had those. They came out like two years ago. No, it was, it was, it first of all, Lou. First of all, Lou. It was longer than two years ago. Second of all, Lou. I was definitely using the same clippers on my balls and face then. Big facts. Oh, that makes your face smell like your balls. Oh. No, I would do it right oh. after the shower. You do if you do it right after the shower, and you always use alcohol, which supposed to. Or your, your face clippers anyway. You killing the germs. Also, Manscaped Yo. is not the first clippers. There's hella clippers before that. I ain't never seen no other clippers before for balls. I just I would just Maybe buy some from like Marshalls. Balls. All you have to do is just buy a little like the travel joint the, for your face from Marshalls. Yeah, the clippers don't know what it's for. Oh, uh, yeah. the, the women razors got razor on one end and like clippers on the other end. The and you just need a battery to put in there. It's real easy now. That's cool. That's what that's what you use for your beard, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they do got lady face uh joints. They do got them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, Some ladies got it. I got a couple cousins with that uh, you know what I'm saying, that lumberjack. <laughs> what you mean? Like the little hair little from here. Man, they got, they got, yeah, I, I had one cousin that tried to put some nair on her chin and didn't realize like it burned. Yeah, it was probably gonna be more sensitive or, or uh I forgot if I, I forgot how long she left it on, but I think it was more sensitive than the pubic region because it was used to yeah. it. Man, that she like she fell off a bike and scraped all of this. Are you serious? It burned her skin off? <clears throat> yeah, she um, left it on too long. I had mine, I had like, it looked like I had a Yosemite Sam goatee. <laughs> I, I did one of these and I forgot I had it on. And when I took it off, all of this was irritating. Oh boy. Like, it was red? Yeah. So I, it looked like I had Yosemite a Sam. <laughs> Wait, was it, you use Nair on your face? Yeah, because they have one that has for, for your face. And but that's what said, Yeah, they said three to five minutes, but I went past the five. Yeah. Like I did a whole ten because I <gasps> forgot, and I was just like, "Oh snap!" I, but it wasn't. How'd you forget? It was right here. <laughs> it wasn't because I was like doing other stuff, and you know, I was just trying to keep me going by. And yeah. then I, it wasn't burning or nothing, so I didn't think nothing of it until like I realized, like, "Oh snap!" Ten minutes went by, and it was yeah. I used to use uh when I just had the goatee. I used to use the uh, the shaveless cream. The shaveless shave, uh, shaving cream was like a it was like a powder. You mix a little water with it, and you put it over your face. You take like a like the back of a credit card or a hotel key, and just scrape it off. And first of all, it smelled horrible. It, it was basically poison that you was putting in your face. Yep. But second of all, it was the same thing, Lo. Like if you left it on, like literally, not even a minute, two minutes. You left it on thirty seconds too long. Brrr, irritation all over my face like that shit was but wait a minute worse. why was the only options the way to take it off is a credit card or a hotel key what? well you just you just wanted something that was solid but like you didn't need something that was too big so it was just Told like that. just this size i mean that's what they recommended on the back of the can it was just like a credit card size 
That seems seedy. That seems so <laughs> suspect. Was the no. also written by hand? No, it was, yeah, it was <laughs> called Magic Shade. Who made it? Note, and it was attached magic to the shade. bottle with a string. Oh my magic God. Magic Shade, you should do like a butter knife, though. Yeah. <laughs> They used to come with one like a light blue one, a plastic <laughs> butter knife looking thing. It was it was a um blue it was a black one, a gold one, and a blue one. Yeah. That sounds that sounds somebody awesome. made that for you to hear. Somebody Y'all ain't never heard of magic. We I I imagine you not play, that was not magic. I definitely have it. My mama had that mustache and a little beard right here. <gasps> I seen her nightly do that. Yes, thank you, Dion. Every morning, yeah. every morning before church, uh huh. No, that smell is. A hotel yeah. Because it, it smell, it smell like old eggs. Like yeah, it, smell, it stinks. It stinks. This is it right here. Magic shade. Boom. Yep. Oh yeah, my daddy used to use Whoa. that. Yep. Back in the day. And it's oh, a now everyone remembers. Yeah. Oh yeah, now I still that's don't powder that. and you mix that mug up. Uh huh. That looks like uh like the stuff you put in your sink. <laughs> yeah, well, AJ. I, it basically was you. Yeah, nah, it, it yeah. really, it really little, was very powerful. It really, it, it really looked like something like in those old Disney cartoons. I'd be like in a traveling salesman. Like I got Funny. shaving powders and <laughs> green, like, and beans. Yeah, no beans. brand. It just what says beans. beans. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, this is great part for us to uh, just jump right into the first topic. But before we do that, I want to give a shout out to our special guest. We got Dion Lack back in the building. Ba, 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 ba. And we got Lulu Gonzalez. Hey, hey I, I want that same energy, man. What the hell was that? Hear, hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> Let me tell you why. I called Lulu last night and I hit her up and asked her, could she do it? And she was like, yeah, I could do it. I was like, I, when I responded to her, I was so excited because I realized we haven't had Lulu on here in months. She was in London really? for a while. And before London, we hadn't had her on here in about a month. So this is probably our first episode mm-hmm. with Lulu and, and well over two and a half maybe three months so i was excited to see her dion i saw you like three weeks ago and i saw you like two weeks ago literally at your place in your face in the presence but we ain't seen Lulu in a while so i was excited to see Lulu. anyway let's uh shout out to the original squad as well we got pat cloud in here meg scoop of course up to hear more we're gonna jump right into this first topic right after this let me ask you a question are you getting enough Hmm? i bet you love a little more well AdamandEve.com wants to give you more. Go to AdamandEve.com. Choose almost any item at 50% off. When you do, you also get 10 free gifts, including six spicy movies, mm -hmm, a three-piece bonus kit, and best of all, free shipping. Delivered discreetly right to your door. Just remember to use the offer code SQUAD. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D at checkout. Make a resolution for better sex this year. Resolve to bring more pleasure and satisfaction into your bedroom this year. Go to adamandeve.com and use the offer code SQUAD. First topic of the day we have, would you rather walk a mile on black ice or walk a mile through one foot deep mud? What's black ice? Like, Like the slippery ice? It's that extra slippery ice, Lou. I thought you would be familiar with it coming from New York. I don't understand why Pat don't know, but you should know this. That's what I'm saying. That's what I thought it was. I'm like, that ain't. I know exactly what black ice is. It's well, I mean, the most basic definition of black ice is a thin coat of highly transparent ice. The reason it is transparent is because it blends in with road pavements since it is so thin, making it nearly impossible to see. It's called black ice since it looks black like the color of the road pavement it forms on. So that's just off the top of the dome. So what's, what's the other ice? As we're reading it off of your glasses. Okay. Ah, yeah. Hey, it's it's it. That's just off the top of the dome. <laughs> that's, that's right. So I know that's what right. black that's ice what I was. I didn't know that's what it that's what the options were because there's no other ice though. Black ice my whole life. I'll take it. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, it's 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 like the regular ice. So black black ice is typically like the most dangerous because you don't see it. Typically, mm-hmm. when you see the ice on the street and the sidewalk, it's already like crushed up on, not crushed up on, but like blended with the 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 snow that's already there. You can see that patch of ice from mm-hmm. a distance. Black ice, you don't you don't see it like that. Like it blends in with the color of whatever mm-hmm. pavement it's on. And so it's just like, come on, I'm not ice. Yeah, like, hey, come on over. Come on, (laughs) also skate on me, man. 
You could skate on that joint you for can. a nice little yeah. half a mile. But what if I've done that many a times. That's a hood, uh, like hood ice skating. When you couldn't go to the ice skating rink, we just skate around on the black ice and our sneakers. Do you hit a rock, you a pebble? <laughs> you, you that that what you talking about? Get up. <laughs> ice is tricky though, but so yeah. is a foot of mud. Jesus. It's not tricky. A foot of mud is not That's tricky. a workout. It is that. That's a workout. Yeah. For a mile? For a mile. That means high knees for a whole mile of trekking. I've done that before too. Don't want to do that. There's also parasites in mud or uh, mud skips. You I ever mean, seen a I mud skip? Galoshes mm. or am I in sneakers? I'm gonna look up mud skips. I mean, you 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 look can, up mud you're, skips. You're in galoshes. You know what I'm saying? You're prepared for it, but you still gotta walk yeah. a mile. I like that word. That, that that foot long. I mean, foot deep mud though. That's galoshes. a real thing. You can always put the mud on your face too and do a um a mud mask while you're doing this. What if there's maggots in that mud? Why would you do? You that? Don't yeah, you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If somebody else got to walk a mile in that mud and it's a, a foot deep. Somebody pee in that. So you go ahead and put that mud on your face if you want. Ain't pee sterile? Man is out of control. I, I, it's only a mile, guys. It's not. It's not only a mile. Need, <laughs> I don't think we need Look, to be peeing yet. Walking, right. walking a mile takes about 15 minutes. Oh, it's a, called a mud skipper, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, I was looking about like, maybe I'm spelling it wrong. <laughs> mud skipper. Walking a mile is about 15 minutes regularly. Normally. Right. Right. Now add mud onto that. That's gonna add a whole other 45 to an hour. Cause you're not as in shape as you think you are. Mud is hard. A foot of and, mud. And you're gonna stop and catch your breath. After you're gonna you know, you're gonna hit one of those ones where you try to lift the leg up and your leg be like, mm -mm. and you yeah. have to throw it back down and just Catch your breath for a second. That mug gonna tire yeah. you out. You didn't pull your groin. Your uh, <laughs> your spleen <laughs> has ripped out. Right. So it's gonna I, be I longer than that fifteen minutes. So somebody gonna pee. I'm a pee. If I gotta pee on that mile, I'm pee I'm pissing. Too wild. You know, somebody gonna say, "Oh, let me take a boo boo in the mud," just because I don't know when I'm ever gonna be able to boo boo in the mud again. <laughs> just a mile. Why are people doing this? Why those people can't hold it for 15 minutes? Because right. it ain't going to be 15 minutes. It's going to take a cool, nice hour. You think that joint going to be easy? You Not an hour, maybe 30 long? minutes. It's a mile. You guys are talking about peeing on each 30. other. Y'all can't hold y'all pee for 30 killing minutes. each other for before food? you did this. I had to hydrate because I knew I had to do this. I drank a gallon before I started because I knew this was going to exert a lot of sweat out of me. Is this so the only thing we have pee. to do that day? Huh? Is this the only thing we have to do that day? Yeah, that's it. Until later on, you got to walk a mile back. What? <laughs> I could do both, day. but the it's ice won't day. mess your outfit up. Like if you, after a mile of, of walking, you got to hit a shower and wash, burn them clothes. <laughs> Is it I the mean, same shoes for both? Whatever shoes you're doing for one, you would do uh, for the other? No, 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 no. That's not fair. Prepare, you're preparing for either one. And Pat, you talking about, you be okay on the ice, bro. If you slip the wrong way, you splitting them pants. Your leg is a ruin. Cause your you leg <laughs> <laughs> the knees gonna be all busted up on your leg. I didn't see he that coming. Cut, he already oh. went cut out jeans. It's not gonna be nothing new. <laughs> oh yeah, your mittens <laughs> gonna get messed up. <laughs> I like mittens. Mittens are like as soon as I got off the plane in Atlanta, I was like, I could do mittens. You yeah, like yeah. mittens. Mittens is childish. Like, why? Give me, my, give me my fingers back, man. <laughs> why, why am they I don't have no support? Fit. Wait, yeah. no, mittens have fingers? No, no that's they, gloves. Oh, those are gloves, Pat. It's gloves. Like that. Like, like, like that. He's talking, he talking about gloves. the mended ones, the, the ones where you could like pull it back and then there are the gloves underneath oh, them. Oh, no, that's the nah. like that. I'm talking like, about that's, not, that's not traditional oh. mittens. This is mittens. That's why it's like kitchen mittens when you're getting stuff out the stove. The I'm, ones you, the ones you, your mom used to attach to the uh, oh, oven the, mitt. The wrist. No, nah, yeah. I'm talking about, so I'm talking it. the knitted mittens, right? Christmas story mittens. These like, four fingers are together. Yeah, it's like this. And and this you can't the, grab on anything. It's if, like, a no, I don't like that. A, if a man shows up to a date with some mittens on, you're like, nigga, I'm out. I'm done. Right. I knew what mittens were. He just mad because we we ranking on him. So you're like, oh, never mind. Mittens are <laughs> No, these are cartoon hands. I was talking about the knitted ones, the only ones that were in LA, those black knitted ones where you oh, had all gloves. your fingers. I, we all, I called those mittens. 
What do you think the difference between gloves and mittens? I don't know now. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I give you the answer. I gave it to you. I didn't know it was the fingers <laughs> separation. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. Okay. They so call mitten. it mittens because it looks like a mitt. Yo, and they call oh, it baseball. Oh, wait a second. It got fingers. What's a mitt? Pat, in your 30 plus years living, <laughs> you didn't know the difference between gloves and mittens? I live in Los Angeles. <laughs> Hold on. Have you ever heard of. Pat, You've heard of it? kitchen mittens. No, no, heard, have mitten. you heard of yeah. kitchen gloves? Yeah, no. there's like an oven mitt and a baseball mitt. I didn't know they were right. all mittens. They don't the have the fingers, Pat. What did you think they were called mitts for? They don't have the fingers out. You want some just... mitten gloves? Why That's don't... why they call it a catcher's mitt, not a catcher's glove. It's a catcher's <laughs> they don't catch mitt. It a, they don't call it a catcher's mitt neither. I didn't know they were cousins. <laughs> Listen, but Pat. You've traveled to cold places before. You were, you were in Big Bear. With, I, with, I was in Dublin too, and I went up to some gloves and I said, "Can I get those mittens, please?" <laughs> and they laughed at you. They was like, "Yeah," and they laughed at you as they rung it up. Yeah, they, no, they laughed at me because I was shivering when I walked up. No, they yeah, laughed at you because you're stupid. No <laughs> they were like, this dummy. Ah, yeah, yeah, you can have these mittens. These hands silly. are the worst. I thought mittens were just, they just they just kept you. Okay, you know what I thought it was? I thought mittens were gloves for the cold. I thought gloves were just like stylish or like racing gloves, golfing gloves. And then when it was cold, it's like, oh, let me get these gloves off. I need some mittens. You know what I mean? Because of the fluff. Security. That was, you know, that's a good explanation. Like, cold, right? Wow. You went to public school right. in LA, right? No, that but is. I mean, think, okay, think about it like this. Think about it like this. Wow, Building, okay. A chair, I mean, not a chair, a t-shirt and a jacket and a hoodie all cover your chest, right? But they're all for different levels of coldness. You'd be like, no, I want a t-shirt because it's warm. But if it's cold, you'd be like, I want a hoodie. So I thought that a, a, a glove was just a t-shirt for your hands. And a mitten was a, a, a hand hoodie. Yeah, here's the weird thing about this is that everyone pretty much learns this in like elementary school when they read like the kit, the kitten and the mitten story or whatever. Like nobody really teaches you this. So I'm wondering why you don't know this because it's I not like anybody it, taught us. I didn't know the actual definition. That's what let I just tell you, Let me tell you something. Every, every, every day I'm amazed that Pat has made it to <laughs> the right age that he is. <laughs> Anytime we have a conversation, I'm like, how did you how did you not hurt yourself before now? How did you... <laughs> I don't get it. Y'all think that there's like an some assassin out there that's like, tell me the difference between mittens and gloves. Yeah, <laughs> now there is. No, now we're there just saying be. we're just saying the common knowledge level for the difference between gloves and mittens. Is so beneath your level of where you are in life. It's like, I like think? if you didn't, miss, if you didn't. missed this, what else did you miss? Right. That's a bunch of stuff we find out all the time. <laughs> but like, this is so five, age five. I was, I was, I was doing something else said, when you guys were learning about mittens. mittens. Was hand hoodies. Nobody heard <laughs> that. I didn't know I heard hand hoodies. Let's put and it to I a saw vote. gloves with the t-shirt <laughs> of the hands. It makes sense though. And then fingerless. What the fuck, Pat? And then fingerless gloves are like like uh undershirts for your hands. They're like short pants. No, the they're hands? like undershirts. They're, they're like that's tank a, tops. That's uh let's go ahead and put it to a vote. Let's just mud the ice. What y'all do? Oh my that's gosh, right. Pat, you got me over here coughing, okay? And then a <laughs> ring is like a necklace. Shut the fuck up, Pat. Boy, <laughs> just stop it. Stop the <laughs> food. Why don't you know these things? It's like a collar. Um, I'm skating on that black ice Same with black my mittens. Ice. Give me the black ice and the mittens. Yeah, uh, I would have to go with um, the mud because I ain't got insurance. That's true, though. You can slip one, one wrong way on that <laughs> ice and you will be dead forever. Yeah. I got I got liability life insurance. <laughs> you don't got full coverage. I'm gonna go with the ice though. I'll crawl a mile before I walk a mile. In no, my... you gotta. It says walk. You gotta walk. I'm yeah, walking on my stomach. Your, trying to be on your knees. <laughs> yeah. 
walking up my stomach. We gonna jump. Just like the uh, the 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 ice has it on that one, man. We are gonna jump right into this next topic right after this. Ah, love is in the air. And while romance is great, it's important to give your brain some love too. February is the month of love. And you know who really deserves some love? You. That's who. Best Fiends is my favorite way to treat my brain to a much needed recharge because you know I need it. It's like a mental spa day for your brain. You can enjoy it wherever you go. I always say Best Fiends is like a box of chocolates. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I'll be real with you. Uh, I, I don't be saying that at all, really. You know why? Because Best Fiends never disappoints. Even in the shortest month, you deserve the maximum amount of me time. I love Best Fiends. I love the fact that I can be on the go. You know, if I'm in the passenger seat of the car, I can get it in and play. And I just passed level 1205. I love the fact that my wife plays also. So it makes it fun to interact with her about the game. I'm telling you, you all will love Best Fiends, man. It really gives you that mental break, and it's just a fun game. Some levels are easy, some levels are hard, and that's what makes it amazing. Best Fiends is my favorite mobile puzzle game, and I'm telling you, anybody can download it and play at any time. Whether you have a few minutes of a day or you have a few hours, Best Fiends is a perfect puzzle game to unwind with because you're having so much fun. The game also features tons of cute characters that help you solve thousands of fun puzzles. The more you play, the more characters you collect, and that's what I love about it. You can always switch it up. And the more you win, the more challenges you face. New characters and challenging puzzles are added all the time, so you can always keep playing. And there are tons of fun events where you can win huge rewards in the game. Also, so many different events you can play. I just played a couple of events myself. With thousands of levels, Best Fiends has all the me time you need. Ready to give your brain some TLC? Download Best Fiends free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. Would you rather find a fingernail in your soup versus a used Band-Aid in your mashed potatoes? Uh. Real quick, though. How come socks are called socks <laughs> even when the toes are separated? You know, like the toesy socks, those are still called socks. No, okay. they're called sock gloves. Look it up. Are oh, they yeah. called individual socks? They usually preference with what it is. They don't just say socks. It's a different say. name. Right. So yeah. why couldn't it be like, like separated mittens or finger separated? You know oh. what I mean? Also, you talked about like a transformer mitten that like lowered and then there was the fingers. Is it not like a mitten anymore? Is that like a mitten slash glove? That's a, a mitten hoodie. And it has it's, a it's just strength. it's just a it's like a two in one. I don't know exactly what if there's a name for it, but it's just really like a two in one. This At this point, just stop it. Just yeah. so it's it's a lot of it's a lot of contradictions in the mitten. Shut up, Pat. Okay, you didn't know it. You gotta that prove yourself right. <laughs> Yeah, I understand what's happening in my life. <laughs> <laughs> a fingernail or a Band-Aid? Ugh. Yeah. Band-Aid is always worse because at least the fingernail is just like they just chopped the nail off as opposed to the Band-Aid that was covering an open wound. A possibly. wound. That but, is true. But what if the nail had dirt on it? <laughs> but what if, better. More than likely. The band -Aid, what if the Band-Aid was from Nelly? Oh, then it oh, just yeah. fell off his face. That's the best version of a, ba a band aid if you no, had to. Because eat I just heard, I just saw his little sex video and I don't want his band aid. What <laughs> happened? What, what, what did he, what, why is this happening? It was on his IG story. He said he uploaded it by accident. Mm -hmm. What was it? You got a song dropping there. It was a small penis being sucked on. If, if that happened by accident, then trust and believe a single was coming within the next week or so. Yes. Or a new Cheerios commercial or something. That's funny. Nelly was coming. Hello. <laughs> Where did you see this, Hell. Lulu? Hello. That's Look at that. Girl. Yeah. And then also type in paint and sip. Oh, oh my God. God. I was like, oh. I oh. saw that. I saw it with my own eyes. The paint and sip was just reckless as hell. I'm, 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 we all see the same video, right? It was only like three or four seconds, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. But how if you, you just go back to regular painting after that, like, like that's what I had. I had those exact move. same questions. Do you just go back? You just go back to where the are her friends? 
You, I, I think they were like this. You see, there's a couple bitches that turn their head. Was like, uh oh. And then there was <laughs> a couple was like, yes. Yeah. I don't yeah. care how drunk my homegirl was. We went to a paint tip. Please believe. I'd be like, no, girl. Like, I would not just let her do that. I mean, That's he called her fine and she been in a drought, you know, let her live her life. Then I'd be like, get his number for later, girl. Don't do that here. Yeah, it do you see. get, do you it go was. out to eat afterwards? Like, it was so it was, weird. What What happened is they didn't put the whole name of it. It was actually called, or the, the event was called uh, Paint and Sip Dick. And they keep leaving the dick uh, it was a sip. It was she it just was a sip. It was yeah, just it was a little sip. It was just not enough characters. Yeah, um, they so now it seems out of, <laughs> out of character, right? But that that was the name of the event. Like, oh my gosh. I just imagined the car ride home, just hella quiet, and just like, hey, were you sucking dick <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just like, hey, I was three easels over. Were you over, were you sucking dick? <laughs> Like, so <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I ran out of I ran out of white paint. I had to. <laughs> I was doing Starry Night. Uh I looked over. <laughs> I was doing Deep Space Nine, you know, in my mouth. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get my man. Jackson Pollock on. Oh my gosh. I, I was going to go to one of the shop where you like paint the male model. And I was like, oh my gosh, is this what happens at them? Oh, interactive. Go. No. I, I thought it was just that man stands in the middle and you paint, you know, his naked body. Right. I didn't know it was all that. She wanted inspiration. Bro. She was like, I want my subject to become she, me. She had <laughs> to know that like people had recorded it. That was going to make it out. Like, That's what I'm yeah. saying. She was probably extremely drunk. She probably sipped too much. Hello. And then she sipped somewhere she wasn't supposed to sip. What state uh, was that in? Was that in a, what state was that? But I thought that? worst case scenario, you left with a drunk painting. You know what I mean? It's not like I thought right. that sipping too much at paint and sip was OK. Not like, oh, my bad. I, I I had a little too much to drink and I sucked a random penis. First of all, it wasn't first. Pat, it wasn't random. The guy had been walking around with his his penis on a platter all night. He just like 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 like, like champagne. He was like penis. Pe no, that's random. No, <laughs> You don't know this, man. She don't know what. After an hour, after an hour, you know, it's not a random person. When you go to brunch, you're drinking random champagne. That's random champagne. After an hour, he didn't introduce himself, and he come back 45 minutes. It's like, no, Charles, get out of here. But then Sabrina was like, I'll take some dick. No. Every champagne, every mimosa I've ever drank was random. I didn't get to know it. I wasn't spending the day with it. It was all random. Can I have that? You said, I wonder if she had to pay extra after that. They like, ma'am, that was uh. They actually not allowed her, to do that. They charge her to suck his. Dick. That would be a lot. Yeah. <laughs> because you only came for paint and sip. Sucking dick was different, ma'am. Imagine right. the usher comes by. Uh, this that's this actually not allowed. You gotta leave. <laughs> what if he's like, get your tab for sucking dick? Uh, it's like bottle service. Like I didn't know it was gonna be this much. Why well, guys? <laughs> when the bill I comes, to get home for free. The bill comes, they like, no, 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 no. I didn't suck no dick. Well, that was Porsche. Porsche. <laughs> Can we put up this fucking dick tag? Can we? <laughs> Can we split up the sucking dick tag? Uh, I ain't splitting <laughs> shit. No, no, fuck that. We'll pay gratuity. She'll, wow. pay, she'll pay for the dick. She sucked that dick. Smell my breath. Don't none of our Let's just split the like check it. six Funny. ways. Let's just split it six ways. Uh, no, none of our breath smell like dick. That was all Porsche. She got dick tongue. Uh -huh, I just touched tub. it. We good. I just touched it. Uh -huh, I love you I just with touched the tip it. in, nigga. You put all of it in. Now I just had an appetizer. Yeah. <laughs> she got Carmax and Shaft on her lips. I ain't paying for this dick charge. I'm. <laughs> and it was some people that didn't even notice. So if you noticed, the one girl across from her was like this. Yeah. And then it was other people that was just yeah. like, do paint, I love to paint. Like, oh my gosh, the girl next to you was giving head. You don't see that? Hey, imagine that was an office party. <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> Monday, like, what was you thinking? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Erica from finance is wild. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't much different. It ain't much different from those cops. Remember the cops in New York that had like a birthday party and then one of the oh, cops yeah. was giving the sergeant on the lieutenant, a oh, lap dance. Yeah. She, she was, she he was married too. Yeah, right. And she was doing like, like filming it, like, 
Yeah, I gotta upload this tonight. <laughs> like, you don't have to. You're your that's your friend. Why are you uploading this? <laughs> right. Now, that wasn't her friend who was recording. She was a bystander watching, like, do you see that shit? Yeah, because let me right. know that she was watching for a minute before right. she decided to hit record. Exactly. So, this better I not be the place that... happening. What you talking this about? Not... This better not be the place I was about to go to do painting because it's I... like... If it is, I'm gonna be so mad. They'd be like, "Nope, we can't do this anymore." Because Portia messed it up for all of us. Yeah, that crazy like, show, Portia. That, that was great was. publicity. All the, all the, all the ladies that are single right now are definitely gonna be lined up for Valentine's Day at this place. You base around be able to get triple the worth of your ticket if you try to sell it on StockX. But oh. that's crazy because if there was a all male painting sip and there was a, a woman walking around making the, them eat the box. There'd be uh, police all over this place. I would sign up to work on the weekend. I would. <laughs> You'd be like, Lulu, where's all the paint? Oh, shit, I <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Ain't no easel set up, no paint. <laughs> oh, that is right. I just brought the wine listen, and the Hennessy. <laughs> listen, just, listen, Pat, it'll just be apple boxes, so Lulu can go around and put a leg up. <laughs> you just brought condoms? <laughs> Where's the paints? <laughs> oh, yeah, we need those. That is why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> you got to paint in your mind, Pat. You got to paint in your mind. Use your brush. Use your brush. Lulu will just have them all lined up for a laptop with Microsoft Paint on it. Just like, all right, did you get your paint? All right, come here. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> What you make it? Look at it here. Look at next. No, that's so dumb, bro. Oh. That's for real. A laptop. Ayo. Hey. Get it. Laptop. Sweet to do that. Sweet to do that. Uh, What's up? Y'all ready to put this to a vote? We supposed to talk about soup and and mashed potatoes. Oh. <laughs> All right, but Whatever the bad the day, the bad day could be used just to hold a. a, a a damn snail <laughs> in place too. But you don't know what kind of bacteria or blood still or skin. I think that's still or... worse. The real question is, is what type of soup is it? <laughs> Tomato? <laughs> is, is it beef stroganoff? Because <laughs> it makes a big that's difference. not a soup. <laughs> DR would finish the soup and we'd be like, yo, did you see the band aid? They'd be like, what band aid? <laughs> Bad day. It's gazpacho. It can get blended in. You be like, hey, this is kind of gamey, but I, I, I fuss with Oh my gosh, y'all. I really think, I just looked it up. I really think it's the paint and sip that I was going to go to. You still going? In Atlanta? It's in Atlanta? It was it's in Atlanta? Every, if it's the same one, because they do it every Thursday. So I was like. Hey, hey, Meg, hey, Meg, hey, Meg. Book, book me, um. <laughs> Book me a spot. Come through, girl. Come through. Come on. Come to a little Hilarious. I'm Maybe very artistic. You know? <laughs> I'm not. I'm just going to draw a big old penis on mine. I don't know how to draw anything. I'm just be like, well, this looks like it. Cool. Done. <laughs> oh my I just wonder, like, how he go home? And his girl's like, how was work? You know, you know, rough, you know? Great. <laughs> it was fantastic. It was very draining, if you will. What did they paint? Huh? huh? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> He's like, I'm tired as hell, you know. Who I'm tired. <laughs> <Eight>. <laughs> uh-huh. I, I didn't even see the video. Was he like, yo, stop? Or was he like, no, no his he was, like, was on the back of her head. Okay. He was he was throat effing. <laughs> and the reason why I think it's the one that I'm I'm supposed to go to is because it says it's two nude male models. So I'm feeling like the other dude was the one that was filming it like, oh, snap my boy. Nah, nah. That, was, nah that was a chick. That was a chick was filming a chick. it saying, look at this goofy bitch right here. I don't know, y'all. Yeah. I think it was because if it was his boy, he'd be like, yeah. you know He would have got closer. Did. He would have got closer like, right. yeah, get under that shit. It was more one of these, like, girl, I'm just gonna talk Yeah, about like, like almost like there was a no phone rule and she mm-hmm. was like sneaking it. But well, what was crazy it. is that the lights were off and it was all red lights. So it's like there was never any intention of painting anything. Like you had, it was, it was, it was all ambient light. It was like, yeah, you it's can't not paint like that. 
No. Nah. Well, there's a market for niggas with hips. I can probably um what get painted. You need a bigger <laughs> easel. Hey, they would have Di sitting like old girl off of Titanic. Was <laughs> getting painted I'm by that? that. Uh huh. <laughs> you got to do the widescreen easels. <laughs> like, all right, hang on. That's Let even bigger <laughs> joint. <laughs> portrait. Let me do portrait. You got to have a, you gotta have a, you gotta have a easel. It's got to be. It's got to be bottom heavy on the easel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's crazy is if you search paint and sip on Twitter. That's not the only video that comes up. I oh, see it, like a couple videos of just dudes walking around with boners and they'll just be like, oh, white women. That made a link. I, I didn't say Oh, it. wait. It's, it's, it's super weird. The one, okay, so I just looked at the Instagram page when I'm supposed to go to, oh, it's like strippers and they're male strippers. So they're like. That was it. That was the same one. Women are. Why have I not I, been going to um, pay sips? This is the one, y'all. It's male strippers, so it's like you're painting them, you're sipping, and you're also owing your dollars at these men that are. So you no. didn't know that until you went to the website? So I just thought it was literally, because I've done paint and sips before, where it's like, here's the painting, everyone copy this uh, painting, right? So yeah. my friend was like, hey, are you want to go to this, where like the what you're painting is a that's nude man? Crazy. I was like, oh, that's cool like let's try that i thought that was only in the in movies right oh so you knew then, that there was naked men in there yeah but i thought it was okay. like they stand there like in the movies they're just like, like the stand, you know, you're you in see? atlanta ma'am <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know they was gonna be like bring and now i just thought it was like bring your dollars and i was like what bring your dollars i thought this was just painting oh like, my god what happened to bring the paints let's, let's, <laughs> and brushes let's put it to a vote man we, we doing uh we doing the the gazpacho with the fingernail in it or we doing the mashed potatoes with the old band-aid what we doing whichever is not the band-aid i'm, I'm doing the beef stroganoff that's that is not, not soup. soup that's not soup at all but like hamburger helper yeah what i'm doing i'm doing the soup I'm doing which, finger. I'm fingernail. Pick. I pick the fingernail. So soup, soup. Look at Lou. Lou, Is get off of the video. You found yeah. it, Lou. You found it. Oh, I thought she was frozen. She the one with the dude that's a cowboy. Yeah. Her video. Oh, her no. video about to go black. I'll be back, y'all. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. If if it's his fingernail, I'll take the soup. If Hello. Okay. The soup. I'll take the soup as well. Pat, what did you say? No. Nah. Oh, all watching this at the same uh, time. Sorry, sorry. Um, um, whichever one is not the band-aid. The band-aid. Okay, so even... soup. So soup is unanimous. We all got the soup. We're gonna jump into this last last topic uh right after this. Last topic of the day. We have would you rather get a lifetime of clothes from a brand you don't know or a five minute shopping spree in your favorite store? Easily, easily the five minutes, because I feel like five minutes is a long time. And if it's your favorite store, you probably know everywhere you're going to go anyways. Mm -hmm. So unless it's like a long, big ass store that needs like you got to go up escalators and all this stuff, like if it you, you can probably fill up multiple shopping carts. And I'm the type of person I could probably keep a shirt in good condition for a few years. But you got to leave the store. In, so, within that five minutes? Yeah. No, oh, you no. just got to be back at the front. You just got to be, you just got to be at the front. Come on, say, because the supermarket sweet that you just got to get to the back. You don't got to leave the whole store. Yeah. So right. Back to the I would have a timer home. on. I would have two so, timers well, on. What clothing store has, besides TJ Maxx, has carts? <laughs> a lot of clothing stores do. Ross? Like, I don't know. Like, like a a store cart? They probably would have yeah. a cart. Well, I mean, experience. like, also, like, so, like, if you if Beth's Buy is your favorite store, all you gotta do is drag one of those TVs to back to the front. Clothing store. See, well, clothing. I, I, I would go to Nordstrom because Nordstrom on the first floor they have all the shoes that I like, and I know all of them where they at exactly. You can pick up the shoes, and then right around the corner is the escalator that goes right to the section I like for some good American jeans. So what I would do is I'd hit the jeans, get all the good American joints. Boom, hit him on the register, then go down the escalator and get all my shoes. Ooh, Ooh, fast enough. Damn it. 
I'm moving fast enough for five minutes, okay? I'm gonna get one t-shirt because I gotta look. Is it my size? How do it look on me? I don't know. So at the five minutes, I got one shirt. So I, that's not gonna work. I need but more. It's your shirt. favorite. It's your favorite store. You know already. I don't right. care because even at my favorite store, there are certain shirts I'd be like, "Does this look right on me? I need to see it in the mirror. I need to see." Like, is it, you see, you know, that's see, y'all, y'all heard about the wrong things. You need to go get the, the, the shit that, you know, your size, you don't got to try it on. I would just go get shoes. It don't look, jeans. I love me some fashion Nova, but all of their clothes are not the same size. Meaning like, even it's one size, I might be a large, I might be a medium. But, it's might be y'all act, but y'all acting like, all of them. Y'all acting like, uh, in either one of these situations, you can't sell the shit that you don't use. That's what I'm right. saying. Just grab it. I'm just taking, like, give me all the t- the tens and the uh, Louboutins and the and the Christian Dior's. I'm gonna just grab them, but I just gotta put it out the register, right? Put it out the register. First of all, I don't gotta tell nobody. Can I get a size ten? Can you go look for this in the back, my guy? Do you have it in stock? They already got it because it's a shopping spree. I'm they prepared for this moment. Yeah. I'm gonna be there, so I just gotta let them know what I want. Oh yeah. wait, so we don't have to like go through. It's like our size is like right there. Yeah. So we're not going through like, where's my size? Oh, okay. Well, that changes things. Even a if bit. it was, it's five yeah. minutes alone, asking yeah. somebody for the size. Okay. Hey, well, maybe they got your little skinny size, Lulu. They don't always have my size, so that is a legitimate thing. I gotta look Girl, at. We probably wear the same size right now. No, we not. Add a zero to whatever you wear. That's what I wear. I'm a, I'm a cute medium. So if it has an M on it, I'm throwing it in the cart. I'm just an S. M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M no, they, they could not have your size. Yeah, you it's more than likely they probably I mean, won't. He said, you're "No, it's for you to wear. It's your size." So if you go to your favorite big and tall, they will have all your shit. No, but he's talking about the lifetime from an unknown brand. It could be Baby Gap. It could be all baby clothes. No, 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 no. I don't no, think no, it's, no, it's it's clothes that fit. It ain't gonna be like that. It's just gonna be like it could be like from a foreign brand, right? It could be like a foreign brand. It could be. Uh, uh, a brand that's at exclusively at, at, at Walmart. It and I can be... keep selling these niggas. Y'all ran out of stuff in seven. In that six, is true, three. but it could be butts. <laughs> you have a lifetime of selling shit on offer up and Craigslist. I'm I'm making money over them. Yeah. And, and if it's ugly, you can always give it to the homeless because they're always in need of clothes that are good quality. Because if you said the quality was bad, it's just not your style. Yeah, it's just not your some style. ugly clothes, though. Homeless but that's ugly bad. to you, Pat. Look, I look at your shirt and it looks stupid, but you chose to wear it. So everybody's style is different. Nah, this is a nice shirt. Mm-hmm. Homeless dudes gonna be like, don't nobody want these shitty ass pants. That's what I'm pants. saying. I don't see any homeless people in like whack. Like over, like clearly somebody gave this. But it, again, it could, it might not be whack to them. It's just, it's not your style. Okay, so what if, what if it's like this unnamed brand and you start wearing it and it blows up and it becomes uh-huh. like, and now I'm on yeah. force. Too magazine. much what if? That's a big what if. Yeah, that's a lot of what ifs. I rather too just much what if. if. Yeah, I'm what in if shape, it was terrible. I would train for the shopping spree. So I could get the most out of my five minutes. What if it was Burlington? <laughs> lifetime. Oh, no, but you get you get to pick the store where you want the shopping spree. No, I'm saying the what? lifetime. Oh. And they sent you giant jackets. That's not a Burlington's not a brand. <laughs> it's a store. He said a brand of clothes. Are you, you oh, yeah. that's right. Not only that, Burlington has sent you so much <laughs> shit that still has the security sensor still on it. <laughs> you go in the store, that shit going off at they like okay, leave program. it on because you're just gonna return it anyway. Just leave it on. We we resell these to other people. We know, we know this isn't final. <laughs> <laughs> it's a revolving door here at Burlington. <laughs> Go to your event and then bring it back. <laughs> uh, we know. We know what's happening. We, we know. Oh, large LRG jacket. Yeah, okay. I'll see you. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll In see you Monday. Mint green. Yeah, yeah, you'll be back <laughs> one day for three hundred dollars. I will see you Monday morning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm is on it. We'll be back. You'll be back. <laughs>
golden you mean more rock of the snakes on the hoodie? Jacket. Yeah, you'll be back. You'll be back. You'll be back. We'll be back. We'll go. We'll go. <laughs> they always have clothes from like 10 years ago. They'd be like, this was hot, like early 2000s. <laughs> you mean this platinum fubu? You'll, you'll be bringing it back. All right, that's be enough. Back. That's enough. I'll have the platinum fubu. Let's not go there. This was made famous by Joel Santana in uh, 2004. <laughs> oh, the bandana sweatpants two-piece? Yeah, you'll be returning that. Oh, you want some Jabos, huh? You want some Jabos? Okay, cool. You guys are going to pick t-shirts over there, too, if you want to. That's vintage, Jabo. <laughs> it's not old enough to be vintage yet. <laughs> yeah. it needs they got the Reeboks with the gum at the, the gum, the gum soles. The gum bottom. With the, gum the, bottom. The, the yeah. leather. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Oh man, I'm going to Burlington that. after this, man. Hey, Burlington, <laughs> I want to sponsor the kid. I'm Just with for it. memories. <laughs> Burlington has some cute coats. Apple Burlington has food. ghosts in it. It's haunted. Hey, you think bro. they got mittens? <laughs> no, because Pat don't know that they had about them, so they must not have it. What? Oh. Burlington got mittens. <laughs> No, oh, I don't need no mittens. <laughs> I can't wait for your birthday to come around again. I'm going to give you some mittens. Hey, I, I actually own mittens uh, from the last time I went snowboarding, but I wish I knew they were mittens back then. I didn't wow. know the rules. I was probably like, hey, let me get them uh, snow gloves. <laughs> I don't even see what's the benefits of what's the benefits of having mittens versus gloves? All right. Well, listen, we got a bag has to has, has actually hop off. So let's get her vote before we keep it going. Uh, Meg, who you going with? I'm going to get the lifetime supply of clothes that I don't know. Because if I don't like them, I can always give them to somebody else. Love it. That's fair. That's fair. I'll go with that. I'll go with that. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by, Meg. Go ahead and handle your business. We'll see, see you. Yeah. Love y'all. Peace. Later, Meg. Bye, Meg. All right. Pat, what you going with, bro? I'm going with the five minutes. I think I could get some damage done. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Dion? Yeah, I'm going with the five minutes too because I already know the layout of my favorite store and I would definitely train for this day of getting everything that I want. So. I bet you will, I bet you. Dion, what you going with? A uh, lifetime clothes from a brand I don't know. It's a risky move. Risky. It's risky. I'm doing it now as we speak. <laughs> That's my life. I, I, yeah, instead of a Rams jersey that says yams. Oh, oh, by the time it's air, we already won. You know what I'm saying? Let's yeah, go. Rams. Hopefully. I'm already saying it. Yeah, oh, let's go Rams. Day one fan right we here. We already won. Let me tell you Go something. Let me let me see. Make sure you Day got your fan. next Tuesday open just in case they don't win. Because we bring you back to, to talk all of this trash. You should do another take and go. Hey. Yo, shout out to Los Angeles Rams. We won. Uh, if we lose, damn, man. It sucks, man. We would have to <laughs> I ain't never seen somebody who just lost still holding oh the goodness. jersey. I was like, damn. With the energy. With the energy. We lost, but hey, there's next always year. a whole other Maybe season. Maybe next year. <sighs> Maybe next year is so sad. I'm ready for anything that happens. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, D.I., you in what now? Hmm? Which one do you go? Oh, you went with the uh, Lifetime of Clothes, right? Yeah. And I'm going to go with the Five Minute Shopping Spree in my favorite store as well. So it looks like that one takes it home. Uh, again, want to thank our special guests for pulling up. We had Lulu Gonzalez. We had Dion Lack, Rigel Squad, Meg Scoop. We got Patch Cloud. Of course, I'm to hear more. Thank you guys at home for watching. This has been another episode of Squadcast Versus. We'll see you next week on the next episode. Peace, guys. Strange. Later.